workers and comrades, because here it is an issue that affects us, us, that affects us all. The pension reform, as prepared in France, is a reform which corresponds to what is taking place in many European countries, including Belgium. So the fight crosses borders. And another one says, a victory, in, a victory in France would be essential for all workers in Europe. So I think there's this uh, conscience that um, the, what Macron is doing is what all the governments are doing all over Europe, and that uh, a victory of the French workers would be a victory for all the, the workers in, the, in, in Europe. Um, so just about the, the, the French uh, pension schemes. So the French pension schemes has been won uh, was won in 1945 uh, when France was liberated from the uh, occupation by Nazi Germany and it was won by the French workers and peasants who took the arms against uh, occupation. Uh, at the same time they won social security, some kind of NHS, um, uh, statues of uh, civil servants, nationalization of big companies and what Macron is doing is they want to get rid of everything that was conquered uh, in 1945. Um, this strike is, uh, has come a long way because in 1995 the Juppé government tried to suppress uh, some pension schemes, the pension schemes of the railroad workers, of the underground uh, workers, and in 1995 uh, people went on strike for I think two weeks, they went on strike for two weeks um, and they prevented the government. So the government at that time had to back up. And then all the governments, the left-wing governments, the right-wing governments, have made reforms in 2003, in 2007, <coughs> 2010, 2013. Uh, bad reforms, actually. But they haven't managed to destroy the, uh, the, the, the pension system in France, which is more or less the same. You, know, you have to work longer, you have to pay more, etc. But the system is the same. What Macron wants to, wants to do is to erase and suppress all the, 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 the existing system, which is ba based on um, work, working class solidarity. I will just give you an example. For example, they are saying that some workers are privileged. You know? So, for example, people working in electricity companies, those people would be privileged because they are entitled to retire earlier at uh, 85 years old, I think. But actually, they are pension schemes, so they have, they have separate pension schemes. The pension schemes got a lot of money, and those workers, their pension schemes, every year, they give more than 15 million euros to the other pension schemes, the pension schemes for um, the, the, the rest of the private sectors. Same thing, for example, with the lawyers, you know, uh, because uh, for the moment, the, the lawyers have been on strike since uh, Monday. The lawyers, you know, they, yeah, they are privileged, but they pay high contributions and they got high pensions, but they, they pay for their, pay for their pensions. And it's the same. Every, uh, each year, the pension schemes of the lawyers gives 100 million euros to the private sector pension schemes, to the rest of the working class. Uh, even though, I mean, the lawyers are not exactly working class, but the system is the same, it's based on solidarity among uh, workers who pay contribution. So they want to get rid of that. Um, I could go into details maybe, but the, um, the consequence of the new system they want to put in place, <coughs> it's not just about increasing the, the retirement age. That was they, 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 they talk about. But uh, the aim is to reduce the pensions. Actually, the new system will reduce the pension between 20 and 50%. <coughs> So everybody will lose between 20 and 50% of their pension. As a teacher, for example, I would lose between 600 and 800 euros per month when I retire. So whatever age, uh, because anyway, <laughs> I may retire at 68 or 70, but anyway, I, I would lose um, a lot of money. Uh, why do they, why, why do they uh, want to do that? First of all, because they, they want to get the hands of the state on this money. Because this money is not the property of the state, it's the property actually of, of the workers, you know. The pension funds are, on, uh, are, are based on contributions. So uh, nobody can get this money. Government can't use it, the banks can't use it. So first of all, the government 
want to take this money. And the second thing is that they want to push people to take private insurance to uh, compensate. If you lose 50% of your public pension, then you will have to contribute to a, a private plan, by a private uh, scheme. It was quite clear because it was revealed by the press that uh, Macron has close ties with the American pension fund fund called BlackRock. And on January the 1st, he uh, gave the Légion d'honneur, uh, which is like being made a knight, if you, if you want to like, um, to Jean-François Cyrilli, who is the boss of BlackRock Black in France. You know, so it's and, uh, January the 1st, uh, the railroad workers, the underground workers, uh, were already on strike for three weeks. So, you know, there's this, uh, hang this anger against Macron, and everybody understands that he's in the, in the service of, of big capital and big companies. So, as I said, the, 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 start, the, the strike started on December the 5th, uh, mostly um, uh, in the railroad, railroad, railroad workers, underground workers. So, for more than one month, there was no underground in Paris. Like, no. Yeah. It was quite historic, except the two lines uh, which are able to run without driver, you know, that are automatic. Um, so of course the underground workers, the railroad workers, uh, the teachers, and in many other companies, uh, the strike was, was huge. Uh, on December the 5th, on December the 17th, uh, there were more than 1.5 million people in the streets. Like in Paris, that's the, the biggest demonstrations I've ever seen. You know, I, I've lived in Paris for 13 years. I've never seen uh, so, so uh, demonstrating so big. So it's quite um, uh, historic. And then came the, um, the Christmas and the New Year uh, break, and the government was trying to uh, stop the strike, you know, calling for truce, and even some uh, trade union leaders uh, were accepting the idea of a truce. You know. um, they were even um, saying that the, 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 the strikers would be preventing people to take the train to go to see their families for Christmas, you know. So everything was done to, uh, to, to make this truce. And what is very important is that there was no truce. So the, the strike continued for two weeks uh, between December the 20th and uh, beginning of January. The other uh, important aspect is that, of course, they, they have tried to oppose the strikers and the rest of the population. You know? Saying that, of course, they prevent people to go to work, they prevent people to go to, the, to see their families. But they haven't managed. And it's quite historical because each time they manage to oppose the, the two of them. And even the, the official reports are very clear more than 60% of the French population do support the strikers. You know. uh, even for Christmas, they, they, you know, the, the, there was a the journalist into the, the train stations asking people, and for sure, uh, for Christmas, it was very complicated to take a train to go to see your family. <coughs> they were asking people, and all the people were saying, yeah, of course it's complicated, but we do support the strikers. We agree with them, they are right, etc." cetera. Um, so, as I said, now the, the lawyers are on strike, and the, the National <coughs> Council of France uh, are massively mobilized. For example, a few, a few days ago in Caen, a small city in France, uh, there was the Minister of Justice uh, gather, and a gathering with several lawyers, and they decided to throw their robes to the Minister of Justice. Uh, you may have seen uh, also the, the dancers and the singers of the, the opera. Uh, so they are on strike. Uh, they have cancelled many representations. And uh, on December the 21st, they, they uh, organized a, a concert for the, the strikers on the, the Bastille Square in, uh, in Paris. So they are afraid to stop the strike, and they, 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 couldn't, uh, they couldn't. On January the, the 7th, so last week, the refineries, the chemical industries, are now on strike. So there, there's no production of gas in France anymore. The, 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 the workplaces are completely blocked. Uh, the ports are also blocked. Um, so of course the main trade unions are, are involved, but on those sectors, the, the CGT is the most powerful and is, uh, is leading the, the fight. 
uh, of course, in schools, uh, but also the, um, the, the Bank of France, the workers of the Bank of France uh, started a strike, I think, on Monday. So you have two big workplaces where they are um, uh, supposed to print the notes, the banknotes, and um, you know, uh, spread them in different uh, ATM machines. So the two big centers are now on strike and completely blocked. So the, the, the strike is, is very uh, strong because, first of all, because of course people do not want this uh, pension reform. And uh, what was very important also was um, the general assemblies. So what allowed the, the workers to go on strike for so long, uh, because it's very difficult, you know, the, the fatigue, but also the fact that some people have lost more than one month of pay, you know. Uh, so it's very difficult, but uh, the general assemblies are very important because people gather every morning or every two days, every three days, they gather, they discuss, and they decide together to continue the strike. And that's what helped them to, to go on, um, especially in the railroads, in the underground, and uh, in schools. In schools, the teachers, for example, they organize um, striker, teams of strikers, and they go from one school to another, to convince people to join the strike. It has been done basically in many, uh, in many companies, in many workplaces, to help uh, the strike to spread. Because now the situation is that uh, Macron is, uh, is holding on, on power, is, is maintaining his reform, and we need to expand the, the strike, you know, to make it a real general strike. Um, on January 11th, the, 11th the, the Prime Minister announced that they have found a compromise, <coughs> a compromise with two trade unions, one which is the FTT and the other one is the UNSA uh, trade union. Actually, it's not really a compromise because those trade unions, from the beginning, are in favour of the pension schemes reform. You know? So it was, this was not really a compromise. And they have announced um, that they have withdrawn one measure of the, the, the reform, which is the increase of the pension of the, um, the age of retirement, which is actually completely false. Uh, they have not withdrawn this measure. They have said that uh, because they, they wanted to increase the age from 62 to 64. And they said, okay, we will not increase it uh, to 64 for now. And we will organize uh, a financing, uh, financing um, meeting with the trade unions, with the state, and the trade unions will have to find an agreement to reach financial equilibrium in 2027. So first of all, they asked the trade unions to implement the reform, you know, to decrease the pensions. And they said if the, an agreement is not reached by 2027, then the government will take the necessary measures by ordinance, which means like by presidential order, so by bypassing the, 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 the parliament, which is possible in France. Um, so the government will take the necessary measures to achieve equilibrium by 2027. So it's very clear that they have no intention to make any compromise. And so, and also, you can see the very undemocratic nature and uh, corporatist nature of the institution of the Fifth Republic. You know, in the undemocratic because they do not represent uh, the people, and corporatist because they have this will to push the trade unions to implement by themselves the the, 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 the reform. And for now, the TGT and the other one, uh, which is called Force Ouvrière, the FO uh, trade unions, have refused. Participate. Uh, so it's um, a huge crisis, even in the in the government. Uh, for example, you have uh, the, the president of the Senate. President of the Senate is a, a right wing, um, a right wing politician, but he has even accused now the Macron to have lied to the French population for for two years. So the, the crisis is huge. And um, <coughs> the only thing that they can rely on is the repression. So they have a, a niche, a, a violent repression on demonstrations, on strikers, 
which uh, fueled the, the, the anger of, of people, you know. Um, I think it was last Saturday. Um, in some underground lines, people went back to, to work because they had been on strike for more than one month, etc. And on the Saturday, there was a demonstration. And some uh, policemen, they caught a woman and they, they, uh, they beat her up uh, for no reason, actually. And it happened that th this woman was um, a metro driver. So immediately on Monday, the people who had decided to go back to work then uh, rejoined the strike. Um, and we've seen now the, the use of tear gas, the use of uh, rubber bullets shot at um, point blank range to blank range to, to, to people. And even uh, on television. On television, the Prime Minister threatened the strikers, repeating several times that the strike had to be stopped and that uh, they were not afraid to use force to stop the strike. Um, yeah, the, the rules of this strike are, are very um, uh, profound, you know. First of all, it, it comes back from the election of, of Macron. Uh, because you have to keep in mind that Macron was elected by a minor minority of the French population. He was elected because the left wing, the traditional left wing and right wing parties, who have shared power for more than 30 years, completely collapsed uh, in 2017. And so Macron was being uh, elected uh, like that, and because in front of him he had the far right uh, candidate. But it was a minority. And, um, and he was saying that he would transform society. In 2016, he first attacked uh, the labor code in France, for the labor regulations, rights, etc. And you have one very important thing that is that the, the main trade union leadership, they didn't react. Uh, they didn't organize any strike, anything. And then you had the Yellow Vest movement. And the Yellow Vest movement uh, was, um, first of all, it was the most exploited uh, strata of the society, like uh, unemployed people, uh, casualized workers, uh, women uh, raising their children alone, this kind of people. Uh, and they were very, um, at first, opposed to, to trade unions, saying we are fed up with the fact that uh, we lose money, uh, we lose our rights, and nothing is happening. The, that was the, the, the first thing. And, um, and then during the last year, actually, we've seen strikes in the teacher, the, the teachers went on strike. But they decided to go on strike also outside of the traditional trade unions. They decided, for example, to block the exams. First time in France that the teachers decide to block the, 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 exam, the A level baccalaureate examination. Um, then you have you had, um, people working in emergency services in hospitals. Same thing, they went on strikes and they built their own committees with the trade unions, but being very cautious regarding the leaders of the trade union uh, movement. Um, and then you have, um, um, during, uh, in August, you have one union of the uh, metro workers who called on strike to defend the pension. They called on strike on September the 13th, and on that day, there was no underground, no metro in Paris, nothing. And at the, end, at the end of the day, they, they, they wrote a statement saying uh, now Macron has two months to withdraw uh, his reform, the pension scheme reform. And if the, 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 the bill is not withdrawn, withdrawn by December the 5th, then we will go on strike, on illimited, um, um, indefinite uh, strike. So that, that's why the, the, the beginning of the, of the strike. And during those two months, we've seen also quite... Um, um, like <coughs> new type of, of uh, movement. For example, railroad workers uh, in some um, workplaces, they stopped working uh, without any legal notice, without any uh, notice from the trade union, which, which is completely illegal in France. Um, but it shows the, 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 the anger. And then uh, it started uh, on, uh, on December the, the 5th. Um, 
So, yeah, I just want to, to, to stress the fact that the, the general assemblies um, are playing a major role in, the, in this uh, strike. Um, also, the, the fundraisers, you know, the fundraising. So now the, the, the trade unions, the, the strike committees, because in some places we've seen uh, strike committees to be elected by the strikers. Um, of course, they are, they are organizing uh, fundraising and they have raised maybe, I mean, for sure, several millions of euros, you know, uh, and, and a lot of people are giving um, money. So, um, of course, also the workers want to decide by themselves, they want to control uh, their own movement, and this strike is the continuity of the Yellow Bus movement, you know, because the, the Yellow Bus movement was all about democracy, assemblies, and uh, refusing any uh, leaders, any uh, non-elected leaders. So, <coughs> uh, the second uh, lesson of the strike is the fact that people refuse the, the trap of the traditional uh, strategy of the trade unions, you know, which for years now was to go on strike for, for one day and then go back to, 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 to work. For example, in, um, in 2018, the railroad workers went on strike and the, the, the leadership of the CTG uh, trade union decided that the strike should be two days per week. And so two days strike, then go back to work, etc. And so the railroad workers went on strike for weeks. Two days strike, go back to work, etc. They did that for months, and at the end, they, they've lost. Uh, so the lesson uh, on December the 5th, people said, okay, we will lose pay, we will lose money, but if we lose money, at least we want to win at the end. So we will go, we will go on full strike. Um, yeah, I said that, so they, they, they haven't managed to isolate uh, the railroad workers or the metro workers, <coughs> and the strike is, is, very, uh, is very strong. Um, so, I, I will just conclude. I think that whatever happens in, uh, in France now, uh, the, the political situation is, um, is profoundly changed, because uh, Macron is, and his government are, are, are hit to, to death by this, by this movement. Um, you see, it's not just about the pension schemes, but now you have more and more teachers who go on strike uh, against the reform of the schools. I teach in universities, and for now the strike was very weak in universities, and since Monday, a lot of uh, teachers are willing to go on strike because they, are, they want to um, reform our contracts in universities. And of course, we are also affected by the, the pension uh, reform. Um, I also insist on the, the European uh, impact of, of this strike. I think it's part of a wave of uh, revolutions and uh, explosion that we have witnessed in, in Sudan, in Algeria, in Chile, in Hong Kong, in Iraq, in Lebanon, in many countries. And it is the, the, just a movement of people and workers who rise up against the institutions. That, were, that are on the, in the service of, of capital. Um, yeah, so in France, we've, uh, so as you said, I'm, um, I'm writing for this newspaper, Information Ouvrière, who has uh, set up a, a political uh, movement um, called the, the National Committee of Resistance and for the reconquest of social gains of 1936 and 1945. Because as I said, in front, all the, the workers' rights were won in, in those two um, important dates. So it's, um, this national committee gathered uh, a lot of trade unionists, political activists from different uh, origins. And uh, uh, last week, last, sorry, last year, we uh, organized a, a European conference uh, to try to establish links with other activists, other movements uh, all over Europe. Um, uh, because we think that uh, we, we need to re-establish uh, those links, uh, maybe in the, uh, in the way that was first done by Marx and the International uh, Working Men Association, even though we, we don't pretend to be uh, this kind of organization, but that's the, the idea, and we, we, are, uh, we will probably organize a new 
European conference uh, this year. Of course, to, to talk about the situation in France, but I think we, we can see a uh, huge political crisis in, in other country, in Spain, uh, in Britain with Brexit, and of course Brexit, uh, you know that it affects Ireland, um, the situation in other countries, and so uh, that's also why I'm here, here to, to, to try to help to re-establish the links between uh, activists from uh, all over Europe and, and help the political exchange between us. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs>